Hi, everyone. Yes, so I'm here in place of Amanda Skeldon, who's online answering all the sliders, so direct any questions to her, not me. Um, <laughs> but I've worked alongside her on this uh, work package through, throughout the project, uh, and it's obviously been a pleasure, so I hope I can do her presentation some justice. So you've heard this morning about the technical side of identifying MBS, of understanding where they can go to maximise benefits and understanding the business models built around them. But even if we do all that perfectly, people still need to believe in nature-based solutions. They need to understand and envision the future of our urban environments. Because making the choice to invest in MBS or something else, that's going to be an emotive decision that we need to bring everyone along with. So uh, thank you to AFL for this lovely uh, video of greening our uh, GM. So as part of the project, we did some scoping of our key stakeholders, and that should be everyone in the room today and everyone online. So you've all been personally selected to be here. So obviously to take these innovations forward, we need investors, we need local authorities, we need the nature-based solutions skills providers on board, we need property owners, uh, and we need national government. So it's been a, a, a small task for the three years to engage all of those people. But a key part of this, understanding their drivers and, and opportunities for nature-based solutions was our critical friend roundtables, which we held. Um, and these were really honest conversations with those key sectors around where they see nature-based solutions now, where they see it in the future, the opportunities, the barriers. We proposed some of our very fledgling business models to them and got feedback. So this informed a report that informed the full project and made sure all of the work coming out of the project is for the audience that it's intended to be for. And we can now hand over to you guys to take all of the work forward that's been tailored to you, your interests, your needs, your opportunities, and your barriers. And another key aspect of our engagement has been the evidence base that's been spoken about briefly. Uh, it was a collation of over a thousand academic evidence items for nature-based solutions to understand the social, economic, and environmental benefits of MBS to really build that holistic picture. So you might put a sustainable drainage system in, obviously, for the water benefits, but what else can it provide? And as the business models have mentioned, how else can we make people pay for this around the different benefits? And that's informed the business models, but also the engagement. We've been able to go into these conversations with something to offer. We have this huge database of evidence. We've used it in this report, which is a kind of summary of it. And we've also been able to tailor our arguments. So if we're talking to businesses, and the only reason they want to invest in nature is for employee well-being. We have the data on that. If we're talking to businesses and the only reason they want to invest in nature is to have a greener business district, we have the data on that. Increased footfall, increased willingness to spend. So it's a really a great resource to tailor your arguments on MBS that can take forward. Nohan, in this section, will talk about the Living Lab, but that's been the most potent communication tool for us to take people into these retrofitted MBS environments to really feel what it, be, what it is like to be in these spaces. Um, as I mentioned, we've, target, we've targeted our communications materials, so after the event you can go onto our website and you can go, I'm a local authority or I'm an MBS supplier, and you can click through and see all the content that's relevant for you, and that's for you to take forward to use however you want as well. Um, we're not precious about it. So as I say, every one of these stakeholders needs to be engaged if we're going to carry this forward. And I'm going to hand over to Rosie now, who's led our communications and citizen engagement work on how this two-way conversation has been understanding awareness um, and pushing that forward. And obviously, we're, we're all citizens, so it's all relevant for all of us.